Hi there, I'm KSAP meteorologist Katie Blake. This is another episode of At Home Science. And in today's activity, we're focusing on what happens when you mix two liquids that have very different properties. What interactions take place and what result does that give you? Today, we're gonna use two liquids that you probably already have at home. For this experiment, you'll just need a bottle of soda and some milk. Are you helping me? I have an audience. So the first thing you're gonna do is pour out a little bit of the soda to make some room in the soda bottle. I'm gonna pour out a little bit more and it could, would help if you take the label off because then you can see what's happening inside. So we've got that and then we're gonna pour the milk into the soda bottle. Oh, and even as I pour that in there, you can see the bubbling taking place. That means something's happening in there, some kind of reaction. Okay, it's been a few minutes and here is what our soda and milk combo looks like. Not exactly the most enticing thing ever. So what has happened here? Well, both of these liquids, soda and milk, are chemically different. Their chemical compositions are completely different. So when you combine them, weird things are going to happen and that's what we have here. So the biggest thing is that the acid in the soda has broken down the milk and kind of broken it up into these little lumps and clumps. Those lumps are more dense and so they have floated to the bottom of the bottle. The kind of pure liquid, probably what's left of some of the soda, is at the top because it is less dense. So not only do we have a reaction here, we have some density separation going on in this lovely concoction. Believe it or not, this is safe to drink. I'm probably not gonna try it. You try it at home, let us know what you think. You can take this uh, activity or experiment and do some different things with it. Try mixing soda with other liquids, try mixing milk with other liquids, and see what happens. For more experiments, things to keep the kiddos busy at home, head to the KSAT Kids page on ksat.com.